Recently, I made a bootable USB flash drive. I want to use to reinstall Windows operating system onto a problematic uh, computer. But I came across an issue, and this is the issue. So here I have Windows Server 2016. To do that, I want to move all So I started moving or copying the files to the bootable USB flash drive. Okay, so it's being moved to the root of the bootable flash drive. So let's see what that comes up with. Okay, so here now this is the issue. Now when it started copying this file. We found out that install.wim is a 5.6 gig file. And so, since the bootable USB flash drive is formatted in FAT32, any file larger than 4 gig cannot be copied to read. So the file must be less than 4 gig. So this is the issue. Here it is. It's, it's over 4 gig. In fact, the file is more than 5 gig. So this single file that is larger than 4 gig cannot be copied to, to a USB drive or any drive that is formatted in file 32. So we're going to, I'm going to split this file into two files at less than 4 gig. So let's get started. To split the install.wim file into multiple files of less than 4 gig, first of all, what you will do is to look for an easily accessible location. Um, I'll go to drive C. Drive C here. I'll create a folder and I'll call it Win OS. Okay. Then I'll copy this entire entire installation file. I'll copy into the newly created Win OS folder. In drive C. I'll just give it a moment for that operation to be complete. Okay, so that's done. So again, this is the file in question. So that's a file we are to reduce. So the install.wm file, which is 5.6 gig 5.6 gig in size I'm going to split it into two I'm going to split it into two to enable it being copied to the external the bootable USB drive okay now so to do that so we call them command line, our ever reliable command prompt, run as administrator, type in the admin password, okay, so in command prompt, now we use, we have to use the DISM command to split that file into um, into multiple files. Now this is the DSI DISM command, and this is a whole is a lengthy command. So here I have prepared it. So I'm just going to copy 
and paste it in, in command prompt. Okay, so here it is, dear sign. Um, so what I've done here is the C C colon slash win OS is where I copied the file to remember. So in your own case you have to you have to here replace this you have to replace this file with your with your own directory or your file name. Okay, let's have a closer look at this command. So here it is. Here is the command that you need to work with. And um, the file size here is, for me, I want to go with 3.5 gig. So 3,500 MB. 3,500 megabytes is OK for this operation. So. Um, we are ready now, so we hit the enter button. Okay, hit the enter button and the deployment starts. Give it a moment. Okay, so operation completed successfully. All right. So let's look at what we have done. Uh, Windows. Go to the folder Win OS. That's what I created. And then sources. So here we have the two files that were created. Okay, expanding it. See that the first one is 3.5, and then the second one is 2 gig. So now we can safely delete this file. So I'm just going to delete it. So we can delete the original file. Windows will recognize these two files that are also created and proceed with the installation. So, so I'll call up my flash drive, my bootable flash drive here. I copy the, all the contents here. Just move it across. Okay, so it's complete. My USB drive here has all the files, and uh, let's look at the file that we worked on. Okay, so you see these are the two splits of the file, each of them less than four less than four gig with that you can go ahead now and install windows server 2016 on a machine on the server machine so that's that thank you for your time thank you